All right, sitting in my blackness, number eight, sports. Sports are social, where I've made a lot of great friends. What have kept me healthy during my more healthier parts of my life, where we get our energy. Sports are something that my family really rallies around. Growing up in Mississippi, I lived in a town that was all about high school and college football. My mom went to the school, Eastside High School in uh, Cleveland, Mississippi, and their team was like constantly state champions, regional champions, always winning. And so it gave us something to rally around and being, you know, Southern people and being like in such a small town, it was so easy to, to go to a football game and see everybody that you knew there, to see all the people that you love, all your family members, your cousins. And the football games were a space where people could de-stress, where kids could play, where we can look up to the football players and the band members and the, the majorettes on the field and just feel good. I remember we would tailgate uh, to all of these Valley State games and the Jackson State games. My big brother played football most of his life. I would find myself, especially in high school, going to literally every single one of his games, whether or not he was in the game or not. Band was a big part of it too. I ended up being in the marching band when I was in uh, middle school in Memphis, and that was because I wanted to be a part of that experience too, but I didn't necessarily want to be a cheerleader or a majorette. Growing up, I also played sports. Yes, I am athletic, call it a stereotype, and I play softball. It was a mental game, academic things. There was so much strategy to playing this particular sport and I learned how to play every single position and ended up becoming the captain of my team uh, my senior year of high school. Even to this day I still remember what every single position does. I also wanted to play basketball. That career uh, was short-lived because I had fluid on my knee. Um, even though I don't follow sports closely I do have teams that I root for. Basketball I'm all about the Bulls and the Grizzlies. Football, uh, the New Orleans Saints. I'm all about who that, like who that nation. I'm here for it. Baseball, of course, with baseball, I'm a Cardinals fan, Redbirds fan. Memphis Redbirds uh, is a feeder team into the Cardinals. And I live in St. Louis. This is a baseball town for sure. So I got to represent for the Cardinals. Every Christmas, my family goes to one of the Grizzlies home games. And often the Grizzlies um, are playing the Chicago Bulls towards the Christmas time. And for the last few years when we've done this, my grandpa and I would be the, the members of my family rooting for the Bulls and everybody else would be rooting for the Grizzlies. Like in the recent years that we did it, uh, my, my grandpa and I, we won because the Bulls won and my family, the rest of my family had to take us out to eat wherever we wanted to go. So yeah. That's a little bit of my own history with sports. In my youth, all of the sports players that I knew were all black and they were all amazing. And yes, there's a stereotype about black men and black women just being beasts at sports. And I own it. When I am playing a sport, I'm in a different mode. I am in beast mode and I play to win and that's when I'm most competitive. A big part of that is because I saw that within other people growing up. So I would love to hear from you if you have any stories about how sports have influenced your life or how sports relate to your cultural identity. Leave your stories, your thoughts, your questions, your comments all down below. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel to get more, and share with a friend.